We start off with our top story tonight. A close call for 18 people today who needed a water rescue. Officials say they were snowboarding and then became trapped on a large block of ice. The U.S. Coast Guard was called out near Port Clinton for the rescue at the Catawba State Park on Lake Erie. Rescue crews, along with the help of a Good Samaritan, used a helicopter and two airboats to successfully rescue the group. Our John Birchfield joins us with the science behind what happened. John, conditions weren't the greatest on the ice today. No, they weren't, Kaylee, and we alerted viewers last night that the wind direction could cause hazardous conditions. The winds were blowing from offshore southwesterly. Even if you weren't on the lake today, I'm sure you felt the gusty winds that broke off ice chunks known as ice flows. Here's a high resolution image of Lake Erie today, especially on the central part of the lake. Those chunks of ice evident. Now we live on the western basin, which is a bit shallower and ice is over a bit more readily. But due to that wind coming in out of the south southwest, ice flow broke off in that wind. Southwesterly winds, one of the main contributors, the sun and the temperatures near freezing also didn't help matters. Now, if you have that WTOL 11 weather app, you would have been alerted about this last night. Here's Sandusky's forecast. I typed out not only blowing and drifting snow due to the wind, but the wind may break off ice chunks on Lake Erie. That app comes in very handy when weather could advance give um, impact your day. 